Got to make sure the dice show seven at all times, man. Like, what is going on? Who touching my dice around these pinards? We got that deuce on top. So we got to have that three going this way with that five on top. Now we got seven on the side and seven on top. You feel me? Welcome to Reality is Undefeated. I'm at Gatewood. Thank you for tuning in. Listen, man. If you are not out here giving advice to young people to help them navigate their way through life, do not fix your mouth to start criticizing them when things start to fall apart for them. Sit just as quiet as you were before things fell apart. Many parents and parental figures love to just wait until things start to go haywire. Then all of a sudden it's, you should have done this and you should have done that. All of a sudden they got two cents for the collection plate. The difference between them doing well or not in any aspect of life can be the advice you give or fail to give. Don't comment on their poor money management, poor health conditions, poor relationship decisions, or any other poor habits they may have if you have never tried to teach them the healthy way of going about these things. Don't speak on their career paths, none of that. And the absolute worst is when you only want to speak on parenting when it's time to discipline a kid. Oh, you need to tax his little behind. Nah. Don't tell me how to raise my kids if you're not actively participating in their lives. If you're not pulling up once a month to take my kids to the park or to the movies or to the skating rink, sit down. If you only see my kids when it's a family gathering, fix you a plate, sit down, and don't worry about who made that potato salad. The sink or swim mentality that we have for young adults needs to stop. We're literally pushing them into the pool and expecting them to know how to swim when we've never gotten them swimming lessons. Hell, we've never even showed them the stroking motions. Hell, we've never even prepared them mentally for the fact that they're going to get pushed into the pool. And that pool is getting deeper and deeper. It takes very little time for you to pull the youngsters to the side and say, hey, man, I see you want to do this in life. You might want to consider going this route to achieve that, because if you go this route, you can get here. Then you can pivot over there and take care of that. But you already had this in plan. And then you can have two things going at the same time, so on and so forth. That that takes very little time to help them achieve what they want to achieve. And what's sad is some of the reactions that you hear from parents when their kids do become successful. They become jealous of them. Oh yeah, she didn't change ever since she got that good job. Oh, she didn't got married, now she didn't forgot who was there for her before. Yeah, that's what's being said in private, but in public, some of y'all taking credit for your kid's success, knowing you contributed nothing to that. Ridiculous.